Hello Sky Winters. Today we're going to be talking about this right here. This is the Monster Bluetooth FM transmitter and 20 watt car charger with a Type C connection port and has fast charge. Also it has a um, stream and talk hands free while charging your device. So you can use the Siri thing, the Hey Siri thing which I never use. And I'm going to be doing a slight comparison to the older model here's the older model right here which did not have that 20 watt reversible type C charging port okay so let's open up this device this is what you get wow this is so much better than the original one I'm impressed so it is a push button right there and it has this um this cool thing right here it's kind of like what you see on supercars the um like a, if you get into a ferrari or a lambo you're gonna get that so you got two this one is for charging and this one's for audio so this one's not going to charge. So there is no, there is one thing you have to know about this. There is no slot for an SD card. So that's a bad thing, I think. I guess nobody really does that anymore. Because this one does have a slot for an SD card, as you can see right here. So this is the older model. So the newer model does not have does not have that slot. So let's go into the car and pair this up. Okay folks, so we are inside my car. It is nighttime, so I had to rely on that to keep this area lit up because it wouldn't show on the video anyway um, here's the device so we're gonna pair it up and we are gonna test it and see if it works which I'm sure it will and um, this is more of a show and tell I don't doubt that this works and I am gonna be showing the pair up process because on my previous video where I made the um, when I showed the previous version of this device I got a lot of very angry people telling me that telling me that I did not show how to pair the Bluetooth to the the Bluetooth phone to the Bluetooth device, the FM transmitter. And the reason why I didn't show it because I thought it was something very straightforward these days. I I assumed that everybody would know how to do this, pair a a Bluetooth device, but apparently a lot of people got angry. And they even sent me hate mail and they gave me thumbs down, so we're gonna we're gonna have to um, look at that so let me turn on the ignition I think that's it okay let me let me turn that off for now so let me look on settings you're gonna have to go to settings and then go over here we're in settings and then go to connected devices once you're on settings this is the main screen on settings go to connected devices I know you can't see it but it's the second option and then here you get these options right here so you're gonna click on pair new device you're gonna power this up so I think it's like this You plug that in. Wow, it's very it takes a lot of pressure. But it's the ooh, that is wow. Let me turn off the lights. Absolutely cool. I wasn't expecting that. It looks better in person than it does on the um on the video. I, I can see on the video it, it looks like a sky blue. It's actually a very nice neon neon blue. So it's telling me the the battery uh, power the battery charge with this it says 12 12 volts which is normal 
So that's the first thing that it does. It'll tell you the power, the um, battery charge, the, your car battery charge. So anyway, now we have to um, pair it up. So to pair it up, you go and pair new device on the top. And then now it starts looking. And it's, it found it found that monsters, monster MCC 9-1035. So just click on it. And it says it's pairing. And it's now asking you for permission. And we're going to say yes, allow all the contacts and pair. And we are officially paired. The next thing I want to do is find the, the um, FM ra radio station that's um, over here. For example, over here we have 106. We have 106.3. So we're going to have to find on the bottom, we're going to have to find that same radio station, the 106.3. So we got 106.3 over here. So now we got to get 106.3 over here. So let's look for it. Okay. There's a call coming. To set the frequency, you have to press and hold this button right here. I know you can't see it. You're going to have to trust me on this. Press and hold. And now it goes into the uh, frequency mode. So now you just got to find that 106.3. So let's press and hold again. Now let's find... 89, 90, 91. So it's going to take a long time. So we're getting there. 99, 100. one oh five. Okay, 106.1.2.3. So we're there. 106.3 so now let's do a test song so as you probably know I can't do just any song because I get in trouble with YouTube so we're gonna do a generic song I mean not a generic song but an approved song so it's that happy mandolin and there we go Wow, I wish it would stop flashing. That that's really annoying that 12 volt. It won't stop flashing. Let me turn on the engine. Maybe that'll help. That helped, I guess. That was kind of annoying. Okay, so there are other things that we, we need to look at it. There are those two buttons over there. The button on the left, and I know you can't see it. Uh, I'm not going to test that because that's just going to make a very loud noise. That's the bass thing. And the one on the right is the... So that... So that basically powers it off and if we press it again, it turns it back on. I'm going to have to test the next function, but the thing is I'm going to have to cut the audio off because I'm, I'm going to get in trouble with YouTube if I do. I'm going to get a copyright strike. 
So I'm just going to test it and see if it works and it, it is going to work. Trust me. So anyway, let's look. See, so that's down. That's up. That's up again. And that's. So that's. So that's down. So let's see what going like that does. So that's the volume. If you if you do it like that or like that, and that's the volume. See? Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, as you know, you can charge your phone on these two, on the one on the left and the bottom. The one on the right is only for audio, so you can put an, a flash drive there if you want. Um, I've already made a demonstration of that, and I'm not going to do it again because I don't like it when it's sticking out like that. That doesn't, I don't like that because it's going to be sticking out. So o overall, I think this uh, works fairly well. I do like it. And um, the only thing that um, it's, if it, it come short on is the, the fact that it doesn't have the slot for an SD card so let's go inside and let's keep looking at it some more okay guys so we're back indoors and um, I decided to stay in here the rest of the video I don't want to be in my car I'm gonna use this as the uh, we're gonna pretend that this is the car stereo it's tuned to 106.3 our our selected frequency and now we're going to take a closer look at the lighting. So let me turn off the lights. Okay, so that definitely does look nice. And like I said, it looks better in person than it does on the video. Because in the video it looks sky blue. So anyway, now let's test the... um voice activation the voice command for the Google assistant thing okay so the buttons that you have to get familiar with is this one on the right that one turns the device on and off but also it runs um, the Google assistant for example let's ask them what time what the current time is so you have to double click and then speak what time is it? Okay, so let's try that again. What time is it? takes a long time well it didn't tell me any let's ask him one more time what time is it let's ask it one more time what time is it It's thinking about it, but it won't answer. Well, it showed it on the screen, but it didn't answer on over there. Oh, man. Let's uh, ask it to take me to McDonald's. Take me to McDonald's. It just won't talk to me. I don't know what to do. Let me try again. 
Okay, so I'm still struggling with this. Um, sometimes it'll talk, sometimes it won't talk. I'm, I was off camera and it was talking to me, so let me see if I can get go to McDonald's. Let me double click. Take me to McDonald's. Now it wants to exit navigation. So cancel the trip. Cancel the trip. It's thinking about it. Set the alarm. Set the alarm. Okay, let's do something else. Let's um it, it pulled this up right here. I said alarm and it pulled up arm. Let's um go to an airport. Take me to the airport. Take me to the airport. It's thinking about it. So it's going to take me to the airport. This is my airport right here, but it didn't speak to me. If I click over here, it'll actually speak to me. Take me to the airport. All right, George Bush Intercontinental Airport, IAH. Okay, so that works, but I had to press this, and that's not the point. The point is I want to be able to... This is going to be in my pocket or somewhere else in the car. I want to be able to control it from here, and it won't work. Take me to the airport. Take me to the swimming pool. Take me to the swimming pool. So it's thinking about it. Okay, I'm gonna have to give up because this just works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't work. So it pulled up public swimming pools. So it can definitely hear me speak, but it can't talk back to me unless I press the phone, but I don't wanna use the phone. I wanna control it from over here and it's not doing that. So I'm kinda disappointed folks because the other, the other, um, FM transmitter worked better than this one, but um, what can I say? For everything else, it works, but not for the Google Assistant thing. So if you're going to buy this for the Google Assistant thing, forget it. I, I'm struggling with it, so maybe I'm doing something wrong. I read this right here, and um, I'm doing what I'm supposed to, but it's I still can't can't get it to work. What if I if if I press over here it'll actually work take me to the airport got it George Bush Intercontinental Airport IAH so it likes it when I use the phone but it doesn't like it when I use this which is kind of a shame because this is a beautiful device so I'm still gonna give it a thumbs up and I'm still gonna s recommend this for everything except Google Assistant or Siri or Alexa or all that stuff. Um, it's a beautiful device. I just cannot, I cannot say it's a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. I never use it for the Google Assistant thing anyway. The only reason why I'm testing this is because I know people out there are gonna wanna do that. And they're going to buy this, then they're going to order it online, and they're not going to be able to use it. And then they're going to have to return it on uh, through the mail or have to drive out to Walmart to return it. But yeah, it's um, it works. It works for music playback, and I want to leave it at that. Okay, folks, so I kind of found a way to make this work with Google Assistant but it's not really working with Google Assistant 
so it's just doing doing it the old-fashioned way you set up Google to work continuously so anytime you say hey Google it'll listen to you and obey you but it's not really listening through this device it's only listening through this microphone but you can hear the assistant from over here so let's test it again to make the phone be on a on continuous listening so it'll be listening to you all the time you have to go to voice match you can go to the settings let me show you right here you go to settings and then over here just type voice match there we go voice match and then you're gonna have to turn that on once you turn that on right here see this right here you can turn it on or off right there it's turned off so we're gonna leave it on once you do that anytime you say hey Google whoops now it's listening to me let me um let me get away from the phone anytime you say hey Google um, it's gonna listen to you and obey you so let's let's do a test and see if we can use this with Google that way but that's kind of a trick and doing it the old-fashioned way it's not really working with the device all that this is doing is letting you listen to Google to Google assistant so let's test it hey Google can you take me to McDonald's? I found a couple of options. Which would you like? Okay, so now it works. Hey Google, can you take me to the airport? All right, George Bush Intercontinental Airport, IAH. Hey Google, Take me to Walmart. Here's what I found along your route for Walmart. Hey Google, take me to the closest Walmart. All right, Walmart Supercenter. Okay, so yeah, it's now set up for me to start driving around. I don't have to push anything. So in that sense, you can use it with the Google Assistant thing. Um, but you have to do that trick. So thank you, subscribe, and thumbs up.